Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're going to take a look at iOS 11's Messages app. Oh, great. Uh, which got some really great refinements. Right. Like when with iOS 10, the Message app got so many updates from all these cool new features, and 11 is kind of a refinement of all those features. Right. And it also, of course, they did also add a few new features as well. Right. So if you're newer to the Messages app, take a look at our um, iOS 10 Message app update video first and then come look at this one. So let's take a look at the new iOS 11 message app. So now we're here in our iPhone and we're gonna go ahead and show you the new um, iOS 11 message app updates. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my message app and bring it up. The first thing you can see, which is um, the nice clean interface, you know where you are, and this is what iOS 11 did to all of the apps. Right at the very top, it says messages. Right below that is a clear search bar, right. which is great. And then, of course, you have your threads. So I'm going to tap on a thread and go ahead and go into it. And you can see um, right away at the bottom here is what's called the new dock, the app dock for messages. So if I tap and hold, um, I can scroll, and it kind of magnifies so you can see what all these are. So now these message apps are something that came out with iOS 10. Um, but they were kind of hidden away, and mm -hmm. I really feel like people didn't really use them, and they're so cool. Like, you can get stickers and um, all sorts of different features. Right, and little shortcuts to a lot of the apps that you right. use on your phone. Yeah. So if I go ahead and I tap and I hold again, I'm going to show you also, um, besides this nice app doc, yeah. But before you show it, I think we should show, if you don't see the app doc right now, oh, right. what you want right, to right, do, right. yeah. Here, if the little um, A... If you tap on that, it goes away. If I tap on it again, it comes all the way up because I had was tapped on a drawer. But right. there it is. So if you are coming in here and you don't see the dock at the bottom, just go ahead and tap that A. Right. And then it comes up. Okay. So now if I scroll, I'm going to tap on the smileys because who doesn't love an animated smiley face? Right, right. <laughs> and you can see it's got the nice app drawer is right above now. It's so easy to use. You know, you can just scroll around and pick different things and um, in the drawer. Yep. Oh, bring it all the way up. You can see the whole thing. Right. So that's really nice. If I tap again, it's going to bring it down. There's the shorter one and tap again. And brings it up. Yeah. Yeah. So then if I scroll all the way down, it's showing me all the apps that I have, you know, installed. There's also a little uh, dot, dot, dot at the end. Whoops. Yep. So I, that, I went too quick. There's the dot, dot, dot. So if I tap on that, it says more, okay? Right. Now that's gonna bring up, it's gonna show you all the message apps that you have. At the top, you're gonna to see your favorites. So those are the ones that are gonna be um, at the beginning of the app doc. Mm -hmm. So that's where you put your favorite ones. And then you have more apps. And this is a list of ones that you either have in your dock or that you have available on your phone. So if you see something here that um, isn't in your app doc, you can turn it on, we're gonna show you how. So I'm going to go ahead and tap edit at the top right. Mm -hmm. And when I do that, you can see um, you can move things around with the red switcher and the green plus to your favorites. Say I want a Dropbox in my favorites. I tap the green plus. It goes up there. Say I don't want Bitmoji. I do that. Remove from favorites. And now Bitmoji is down there. It's still in my doc. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then now, if I scroll down, oh, are you gonna say something? Oh, I was just gonna say, how do we know it's in the dock? Is by the green switch on the right, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So if this was off, that means Bitmoji's not showing in my dock. Right. And then if it's on, so you can go check. Uh, you know, look rules. It's a sticker pack that I bought. If I turn that on, now it's gonna be in my dock. Right. So it's great. And um, at the very top, you can go to the app store. I'm going to click on that. Oh, I guess you can't go over from here. I'm going to hit done. We'll go all the way out to our dock. The app store was right in the very beginning, and this got revised with iOS 11. I go ahead and tap on that and say visit store. It's going to bring it up. It's a whole new <clears throat> message app store. Right. It's um, bigger, comes up, takes up the full screen, and it's um, just easier and cleaner to use, easier to understand. And these are just apps that will work within the Messages app. Right. It's so the it's, Message App Store, <laughs> not the App Store. A subset. Of but the it's app kind of store. fun because they've got all these fun stickers and right. you know things, and so it 
you know, this is the fun part of technology, right? Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and now we're going to look at another fun part of technology, which is some new screen effects. Oh, of course, for when you're sending your messages, which that was a big feature in iOS 10. So now here again, they're right. making it more fun. Right. So I just went ahead and tapped on the A and hid the app drawer because I don't want it right now. And I'm going to type in uh, a message. And then what, to get the screen effects, what you do is you tap and hold on the arrow and up comes send with effect. Right. Now at the top, you've got effect or screen. So right. tap on screen. Whoa. Hey, here's one of the new ones. It's called Echo. Echo. And it'll echo your message really out. Really get your point across. And the next one is Spotlight, which is kind of And you fun. got that. You just swiped to the left. If you look at the bottom, right. all the little dots right. show we'll you all the effects. Right. take you through all the effects. And then after this are all the ones you already know. That came out with 10. Uh, that came out with 10. Right. And uh, if you're not familiar with how to use this, take a look at our iOS 10 Messages app yeah. video. And I'm going to go ahead and send it with Spotlight. And it's going to go ahead and send it out. And it gives you a little preview. Right. It's kind so of fun. It's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. 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 It's the yeah. fun part we all like. <laughs> right. Right. And then the next thing I'm going to show you, which is also great, is hiding alerts on um, threads. And, yeah. and, and this is really nice if you've got a thread with a lot of people right. and you're busy and you can't be being notified every time somebody Says, makes... Says, yeah, I can meet at five for drinks. Right. Or... Right. So here's one. And all you do is you just put your finger on it and swipe to the left. Yep. And now besides delete, you have hide alerts. Hide alerts. And you'll notice that a little moon comes up, the do not disturb moon to the left right. of the of the thread, and it's very easy to turn on and off. Now right. I'm end of the day and I want to turn it back on, I just swipe over and now I show alerts, the little moon goes away, and I'll be getting my alerts. Right. So again, that was a feature that was within 10. Um, I think it was before 10, but it was hidden. It was hard to get to. Right. So 11 is making it easier for you. Right. Much easier. So then there are a few other things that are coming soon that aren't out yet, which will be really fun. And we'll be putting out little videos about these as they come. And we'll put the descriptions um, below. Right. And the first thing is messages in the iCloud. Um, and that's going to allow messages to be stored in iCloud, not on your device, to save space and also really nice for getting a new phone. Uh, it's yeah, just going to be gonna really be great. a great feature. And the syncing, the message syncing between your devices, especially between your mobile and your computer, is supposed to be really improved. Um, and the last one is Apple Pay with 11. Um, the messages app is set up to use Apple Pay, so you can you know send and receive money right within the messages app, but uh, when they came came to release time, they just didn't have it quite refined yet, right. so it's not out. So look for these features, we'll put them in the description below, and I uh, hope you have fun playing with the Message app on iOS 11. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right, so how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.